Today we are going to study the lower end of the humerus and associated joint. The lower end of the humerus possess their medial and lateral epichondriles for their attachment of muscles and ligaments, the rounded capitulum for articulation with the head of the radius, and the pulley shaped trochlea for articulation with the trochlear notch of the ulna. Above the capitulum is the radial fossa, which receives the head of the radius when the elbow is flexed. Above the trochlea anteriorly is the coronoid fossa, which during the same movement receives the coronoid process of the ulna. Above the trochlea posteriorly is the alecranon fossa, which receives the alecranon process of the ulna, then the elbow joint is extended. The elbow joint has three different portions surrounded by a common joint capsule. There are humera ulnar joint, humera radial joint, and superior radial ulnar joint. The humera ulnar and humera radial joints form the elbow joint itself, which is a hinge joint allowing flexion and extension of forearm, while the superior radial ulnar joint is a pivot joint related to elbow only anatomically. Capsule attaches anteriorly above to the humerus along the upper margins of the coronoid and radial fossa and to the front of the medial and lateral epichondriles and below to the margin of the coronoid process of the ulna and to the angular ligament which surrounds the head of the radius. Posteriorly, it is attached above to the margins of the alecranon fossa of the humerus and below to the upper margin and sides of the alecranon process of the ulna and to the annular ligament as well. The joint is stabilized by ligaments. The lateral ligament is triangular and is attached by its apex to the lateral epichondrile of the humerus and by its base to the upper margin of the annular ligament. The medial ligament is also triangular and consists principally of three strong bands, the anterior band, which passes from the medial epicondyle of the humerus to the medial margin of the coronoid process, the posterior band, which passes from the medial epicondyle of the humerus to the medial side of the alecranon process, and the transverse band, which passes between the ulnar attachments of the two preceding bands.